Good morning and welcome to your Daily Sparks. You know, I was reading this morning in the Word of God, uh, Psalm 86. Verse 6 says this, Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. You know, if God already knows our desires and needs, then why should we bother praying? He knows it already. Well, there's one word in response to that. The word is relationship. The Lord wants us to express ourselves to Him. You know, if He was always to fill our needs without us seeking Him, then we would just we would never be vulnerable. We would just um, take it all for granted. However, when we pray, we open ourselves to receive his love, power, wisdom, joy, and provision. Then in verse 7, it says this, I shall call on you for you will answer me. It takes faith to pray. That's probably why it's sometimes hard to get on our knees before the Lord, because it takes faith. And we wonder, will it even do any good? Are we pray Am I praying to the sky here? What's going on? However, if we are assured that the Lord hears us, and provides for our needs, then we will be encouraged to seek him more and more. So don't look for other ways to solve your problems. Seek God first. Don't have him as the last resort. Seek him first. And you'll have a full assurance that he will help you. Then in verse 11 of Psalm 86, it says, Unite my heart to fear your name. Honestly, our hearts can be a jumble of conflicting emotions and competing interests. We can feel torn in several directions. We can feel confused. But God instructs us to pray for a united heart, not a double-minded heart, but a heart that is in unity with all of it and also with the Lord himself. So prayer is an important part of what we do. We need to ask God and we need to believe in faith and let him lead us. If you do that today, you'll have an incredible day. I'll see you tomorrow on Sparks.